Hey, it's Michael, and today we are doing a shootout between the Smart Guesser digital thermometer and the Temp Pro digital thermometer. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was the marketing department of this particular company, I don't think I would want to call a digital thermometer the Smart Guesser, if you know what I mean. But anyway, here is the Smart Guesser, and this is the Temp Pro. Uh, let me just give you a quick rundown of the features. Uh, first of all, this does not turn off. The Smart Guesser does not turn on, I should say, automatically or turn off when you extend the probe. You literally have to push the on off button here. Uh, it also has a Fahrenheit and centigrade button that you can switch between those two different scales. And this will also measure your minimum and maximum temperatures and it does have a hold function as well. It feels kind of cheesy in the hand. It does use a button cell for the power and I don't really like button cells. I'd much rather if it was a double A AA or a triple A battery. So that brings me to the Temp Pro. Now this turns on automatically as soon as you extend the probe. I find that way more intuitive and you don't have to mess around with pushing buttons. You can instantly turn this on and then begin measuring your temperature. Uh, this also has a light which goes on automatically and then you can manually turn that light off. Uh, it does extend your battery life significantly if you turn the light off. If you don't need it, don't use it. It does have a hold button, a separate hold button. You don't have to double or triple press a button to access that. And then it does have a centigrade and Fahrenheit button over here. So let's do a little testing of these two digital thermometers. Come with me. So let's explore the Smart Guesser digital thermometer. First of all, it does not go on automatically when you extend the probe. You have to push the on off button. And this is a multi-function button as well. Once the thermometer is on, a single press of the button will hold the temperature. And then another press will get it back to reading the temperature. A quick double press will tell you the maximum temperature that it has measured since you turned it on. And then a single press will show you the minimum temperature that it has recorded since it has been turned on. And then a double press will turn that function off. Then you've got a Fahrenheit and centigrade button here. You'll notice the backlight is on. That goes on automatically when you turn the thermometer on. A triple press will turn that light off. And when you turn the uh, unit off and then turn it on, it'll show you a battery level indicator. Right now it's up there and it says low. This uses a little button cell and I tell you, I have not used this thermometer much at all. So the battery life on this is pretty terrible. As far as accuracy, one of the most reliable and easiest ways to check it is to get a, um, an insulated cup if you have one, otherwise a regular glass uh, cup will work. Fill it with ice and then fill it with cold water. Give it about 10 minutes for the temperature to stabilize and then insert the probe in there and it should give you as close to 32 uh, as it can get. Usually it won't ever hit 32 exactly. Usually it's just going to be slightly higher than that because it depends where the probe is and the temperature can drift around a little bit. But as you can see right now, this th thermometer is giving me uh, about a 32.7 reading for what should be 32 degrees or slightly above because we have the ice cubes have been in here for quite a while. So now let's get the, uh, the Temp Pro. Now this one I think is superior, far superior. And actually the price difference between these two thermometers is negligible. I think this is about 16 bucks and I'm pretty sure this is right around the same price. This one I like though, because when you deploy the probe, it automatically goes on. And that is really nice. Again, the light goes on automatically. This light will shut off, but it does have a button here. You can turn it off manually or you can turn it on. This does have a separate hold button, so you don't have to screw around with double presses and all that. And then it does have the centigrade and Fahrenheit buttons over here. So let's do the temperature test with this one. Stick it in here, stir it around a little bit. And this is giving me a much more accurate temperature, 32.4. That's 
That's pretty awesome right there. And then I can turn the light on. Now what's curious with this one, and I have noticed this happening uh, every time I do this little test here. You notice the temperature goes up one degree roughly uh, when the light goes on. So right now it's reading 32.4. As soon as I turn the light on, it jumps up almost a full degree uh, or more or less, but it, it fluctuates a little bit. But I really don't understand what is going on with that. So now it's gone back down to 32.4. Turn the light off. Turn the light on. Jumps up a little bit. It's kind of weird. I don't really understand why that happens, but uh, it's not a huge big deal. I guess you just keep the light off if you want the most accurate reading. But 32.2, uh, this is very accurate, more accurate than the Smart Guesser. Are you surprised? I mean, it is called the Smart Guesser after all. Let's give it one more shot at redemption here. Three presses to turn that light off. Three presses to turn it on. So there you have it. There's a comparison between these two digital thermometers. Um, the Smart Guesser just feels a little cheesier in the hand. The Temp Pro feels uh, more substantial and it is waterproof. It also has a magnet on the back, so this will attach to a a magnetized surface, a refrigerator or dishwasher or your stove somewhere probably. And this also has a magnet. It's a little smaller. It's I wouldn't say it's quite as strong, but then again, this is a lighter weight thermometer as well. But given the choice between the two, I think the Temp Pro is the clear winner here. And this operates with one AAA battery. Uh, they actually include a little screwdriver here and let me just take this off. I just want to show you how well they have protected the battery compartment from any water incursion. Uh, there is a really a nice silicone or rubber gasket around it. And when you get the battery in there, uh, then you just close this up again and it forms a nice tight seal next to that gasket. So um, I think that is a big advantage, the fact that this one is waterproof, whereas the Smart Guesser is not. The display is much larger on the Temp Pro, so uh, I think the choice is pretty clear which one is easier to see. The backlight is much brighter, and this also uh, is just easier to see off axis because of the brightness and the largeness of the display. So that concludes this shootout between the Smart Guesser and the Temp Pro digital thermometers. This was the clear winner in my test. For under $20, I don't see how you can go wrong with this. The only problem uh, I would have is if it were to fail prematurely, and by that I mean if it fizzles out on me in a few months, I would be very disappointed. But I will certainly update uh, my review with a comment if that does in fact happen. But so far, this has been working really well in my kitchen. I like it a lot. Seems to be very accurate. And this thermometer, I didn't mention uh, when I was doing the actual review part, but this can be recalibrated. If for some reason you think it's not accurate, you can do that ice cube test that I just showed you. And there is a way to uh, get it to recalibrate to that new temperature. So there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And it would be so helpful to my channel if you would subscribe. Also, ring that bell and you'll get instant notifications when I upload new reviews. Take care. Catch us next time. Bye-bye.